Edward gets the express. There you go, Gordon. Your coaches are all ready. Finally, I can pull my express. So long, Thomas. And Gordon reached away out of the station. Express coming through. Gordon was on his way to Natford Harbor. Then there was trouble. Bust my buffers! Help! What happened? I'm not exactly sure, but we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, the indignity! I'll go and telephone for help. Poor Gordon had to wait for help. He was very lonely. A little while later, Rebecca arrived to take Gordon's express away. Once she was buffered up, she pulled the express away. Gordon was left behind. He felt very lonely. But at last, help arrived. Gordon was then taken to the steamworks for repairs. At the station, Edward was talking to Nia until Rebecca pulled in with Gordon's express. Rebecca, why are you pulling the express back here? Where's Gordon? Gordon broke down. Edward, I need you to take care of the express while Gordon is away getting repaired. Me, sir? But, but. We don't have any other engines that could pull the express, so you're the only one who could do it. Oh, yes, sir. Edward puffed away. He was very worried. He hadn't pulled the express before. He was worried he would fail to top him hat and the express. Edward puffed down Thomas's branch line. Thomas was there. He was taking on water. Hello, Edward. You look worried. I am Thomas. So Topham Hat wants me to pull the express now that Goran's broken down. Why are you so worried about pulling the express? I just don't think I'm strong enough to do so. Many years ago, when Goran burst the safety valve, so Topham Hat sent me to push his coaches. I pushed and pushed, but I couldn't move the train. That was many years ago, Edward. But you gotta try. The express needs you. You're their only hope. I still don't think I could do it, but I'll try for the express and Gordon. Hooray! You got this, Edward. Yes, I guess I could do it. The next morning, Edward arrived at Nafford Station to pull the express. Nia shunted them into place. Don't worry, Edward. Pulling the express is easy. It's like pulling a passenger train. Well, here goes nothing. Edward switched tracks and backed up into the express. He was careful not to be rough with them. Edward waited and waited for the passengers to disembark the platform. Once everything was ready, the conductor blew his whistle loudly, and Edward was on his way. Express coming through. Edward puffed along the line, but he was still worried. Steady, Edward. There's plenty of time. Edward knew his driver was right, so he puffed along the line carefully and steady. Edward arrived to the express's first stop. His driver was pleased with him. Well done, boy. Just a few more stations, and then we're done. Edward carried on with the express. Edward then had to stop by an old station. The drawbridge was up, so he had to stop. The engine that went through the bridge was diesel. He was collecting cars. Hello, Gordon. Oh wait, it's just slow, Eddie. 
Where's Gordon? He usually doesn't let an old engine pull the express. Huh? I may be old, but I'm really useful. <laughs> Good one, Eddie. And with that, Diesel left the yard. After Diesel had left, the drawbridge was down for Edward to go, and the signal was up. Edward then continued his way. Then there was trouble. Neither Edward or his driver saw the switches was facing the wrong way. Edward rattled along the line. Hey, this is the wrong way. I gotta slow down. But it was too late. Slow down, Edward. I can't. More trouble lay ahead. Whoa, whoa! Bust my buffers! Luckily, no one wasn't hurt. His driver walked out. There's a telephone pole I can go to to call for help. Be right back. Poor Edward was left alone and was very sad. Oh, I failed everyone. Perfect. Now the ride back and then a good rest. Just then, Henry rolled up beside Thomas. He has the top and hat on board. Edward had went down the wrong line and came derailed. Thomas, I need you to get Rocky and rescue Edward. Yes, sir. You can rely on me, sir. <coughs> Thomas hurried his way to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Look out! Tank engine coming through. Rocky, Rocky, Harvey. Edward had an accident. Can I take Rocky? Of course, Thomas. Anything you need. Thanks, Harvey. Come on, Rocky. Edward needs our help. I'm right behind ya. It was getting later and later, and Edward was still alone and off the rails. Oh dear! I'll never get out of here now. Suddenly, Edward saw something hang straight for him. Oh my! What's that? Hello, Edward. Need some help? Thomas, is that you? Yes, Edward. It's me. I also brought Rocky. We're here to get you back on the rails. Before long, Edward was back on the rails again. Now let's get you out of here. Sir Topham has waiting for us. The two friends made it back to Nafford Station. Sir Topham Hatt was there. He was very pleased. Well done, you both. You are really useful engines. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. sir. The two friends gave out a loud peep peep of their whistle.